Our goals for the first iMac and the goals for this iMac, they've, they've not really changed at all. You know, they're, they're all about trying to create an all-in-one product based on amazing technology, but making it very, very simple. This new iMac really is an evolution of a product that was so right in so many ways when we first released it. The entire front of the new iMac is just dominated by this incredible new 16 by 9 display. We've actually figured out a way of taking the glass right to the very perimeter. It's just display and then no display. That's it. I mean, <laughs> you are just completely consumed by, by that image. There's not a detail there that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> There are no visual interruptions, distractions, there's just no other noise. Everything is about the display, and therefore, everything is about your content. The first thing you're gonna be just blown away with is the display. The displays are a lot bigger. 10 years ago, the original iMac had a 15-inch display. Today, we start at 21 and a half inches, and we go all the way to 27 inches. There's a lot more screen real estate there, and with so many more picture elements, there's so much more you can really do with that display. For the 21 and a half inch display, we went to the full 1080p. And for the 27 inch, we went even further than 1080p. We added 78% more pixels to take it well beyond HD. Pixel density like this just doesn't exist on other desktop computers. With that many pixels, you're seeing great detail in photos, you're seeing razor-sharp text, and of course, you're viewing HD content with tremendous clarity. The more pixels you have on the screen, the more light you have to push through them in order to get the same frontal screen brightness for the customer. The latest advancement is to use LED backlight systems. LED technology has the advantage of coming on to full brightness the moment you turn them on, and it has uniform brightness across the entire screen. The new iMac also features IPS technology. That's a very premium class display technology. What you get out of that is very good color consistency and very good display performance, and you get that at every angle. Part of the promise of the all-in-one design is simplicity. And of course, it makes sense to offer a wireless keyboard and mouse, and now we're including it as a standard feature of the new iMac. When you first see the mouse, it could not be any simpler. But I love the way that it scales from being something that is that apparently simple to actually being really remarkably sophisticated. I mean, we'd finally figured out how to take the multi-touch technology and implement it on a mouse. It's still a point-and-click mouse but now the entire top surface of the mouse is, is basically it's a multi-touch sensor. This is the smartest mouse we've ever made. There's a chip inside that acts essentially as a brain. As you put your fingers on the top shell, it can determine where they're located, how many you have, and through your gesture, your movement, it can determine what your intent is. You can scroll anywhere on that top surface. You can swipe. It is incredibly intuitive. I mean. You can use it without thought, you know. It's just the way that you would have expected the mouse should have always worked. Outwardly, you can see differences between our new iMac and previous generations. But inside, it's really radically new. Storage, memory, new CPUs, new graphics processors. Really, everything's better and faster in this new iMac. The 27-inch computer with this new quad-core Nehalem processor, it's a real workhorse. Those are workstation-class technologies that are really built in a consumer computer. We're really proud of this iMac, especially in terms of the environment. But the key with the environmental story is it's never over, because as you learn 
how to remove toxins, you change your focus from doing that to how do we build this thing really energy efficient. And not just to meet Energy Star, but to go way beyond that. We take a life cycle view of the carbon footprint. And you'd find that the customer's use of the computer has the biggest impact on its carbon footprint. And so in this product, we really drove at energy efficiency. And that's where we have a tremendous advantage because we not only build the hardware, but we also create the software. So we're able to really manage power throughout the system extensively. We even power down processors between keystrokes. And I think we're really unique in how far we've pushed that hardware and software technology to do that. With this iMac, we took everything so much further. The displays are bigger, the pixel count is higher, it comes standard with a wireless keyboard and new multi-touch mouse. It features faster graphics, faster processor, more RAM, and more storage. This is truly our best iMac ever. The core ideas, the founding ideas of the iMac are as relevant and as right now as they were you know, with the first one. And so rather than just you know, being consumed by reinvention, this is one of those fantastic opportunities to, to be very clear about what's right and that we don't want to change. So that we can put all of our energy behind improving those aspects of the product that we can make better. And, and that's what this iMac represents. It's, it's a collection of our very best thinking, our, our very best innovation.